Kenya's government set up a task force to investigate allegations that Kenyan Sevens players were given supplements which allegedly contained steroids. The report suggests Paul True and five members of his coaching staff are responsible. True responded by saying there's no truth to the claims and that they could be a part of a smear campaign to tarnish his name. These sentiments were echoed by KRU chairman Mwangi Muti. He blasted task force chairman Moni Wekesa, saying that the exercise was a search for cheap publicity which it had achieved. Further allegations have been directed at the Kenya 15s team. The head coach and assistant coach faced disciplinary charges for doping. This is not the first doping scandal to hit Kenya. It's previously been hit by scandals in athletics. Kenya Athletics chairman Isaiah Kiplagat claimed that many of his athletes' reputations were tainted by unsubstantiated claims such as these. KRU chairman Muti and Paul True stand united as they deny the claims made by Wekesa and his task force.